Yo guys, it's APF Gamer here, and welcome to, uh, just a video. Um, in this video, as you guys can see, we are just on the PC. So welcome to the PC thing, guys, once again. Um, that's hilarious, because I always get that mixed up, because, um, if you, um, remember my intros all the time, I'm just like, welcome to a Minecraft video, hello neighbor video, just stuff like that, but this video, it was like, welcome to a, a PC video. So yeah, it's just natural, because I've said it so many times. But okay, then, enough about that, we're actually going to get into this video. So today, as you guys all did see in the title, hopefully make sure you read the title in the description, definitely. Um, today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually get mods or download them onto your PC. This is just a PC tutorial. I have no clue if you can get mods on Xbox or any of that. Pocket Edition, I have no clue. I'm pretty sure you can. Don't judge me on that, but I'm not entirely sure, so... Yeah, this is just going to be for all the people who don't know how to get mods, because I know there are quite a few people out there. And I know I did say I probably wasn't going to do, like, a, one of these tutorials, but I changed my mind just because I like helping you guys a lot. And I also said, like, I'd help you guys in my about or in the description about my channel. And I'm not going to lie about that. So, um, yeah, anyways, um, so yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. And also another thing is that... Um, if you guys didn't see, like, my first mod showcase, make sure you guys go do check out that video, because that, if you guys don't know what a mod is, I explain a little bit what that is in that video, and if you want to see an example of a mod, like, for instance, if you're completely new to this, you've, your friends at school have just been talking about mods, and you're just like, what is a mod? Then make sure you guys go check out that video, um, but yeah, I'll just give you a brief description about what a mod is, I guess. A mod is basically coding, it's not really a description, but yeah, it's just coding, it's something that someone does to the game that Mojang did not do, and they just put it in a version of Forge or something like that. Okay then, so guys, that, so we better get into it then, so, first of all, also another thing, um, make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button if you are new, because you will not see content like this anywhere else, and also make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up if you are excited, and if it helped you. Okay, now into the video. So, this is first of all what you'll need, the first thing you will need is Minecraft, like, I think it's the Minecraft, like, that you'll just need on, like, the complete PC version of Minecraft. You will not need this Minecraft. This Minecraft is the Xbox version, which is linked up to my Xbox account, which I actually have on the Xbox. Um, a lot of people do, um, have Windows 10 installed, because when you first down and get a computer, it, like, advertises it, like, so big right on the screen, like, um, like, on the screen, get Minecraft, because it's so popular. This is actually the wrong Minecraft that you want to get. I actually, by mistake, downloaded this one, but then I realized that I could not get mods with this version. Someone told me, you have to get this version here, and this is the complete PC version. What you'll need to get this one, I'm not really gonna, like, put a, um, I'll probably put a link to this version in the description down below, but, um, yeah, what you're gonna need for this version is, I mean, what you're gonna need to do is just search up Minecraft, I'm pretty sure, I'll just put a link down below in the description, okay, but enough about that, so yeah, you, 100%, you will need this version, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna load up, <clears throat> we're just gonna load up Minecraft right now, right to the launching screen, and I'm just gonna show you guys basically what this is, I'm gonna be doing this too, this tutorial, I'm actually gonna be downloading a mod, downloading a version of Forge that you need, so I'm pretty much gonna be a noob to doing mods, then, well, I'm gonna show you guys, so, I'm just gonna make this full screen, like so, that llama is so cute, okay, so, as you guys all know, after you've downloaded this version, you get to this latest release page, and you guys are probably thinking, like, okay, APF Gamer, so all you have to do is just download a mod, then play Minecraft. Well, it's not exactly that simple, and if you didn't know, there's actually a little arrow over here, um, if you did know that, if you click on it, um, for me, there's a bunch of just gibberish to you guys if you don't know what a mod is or you don't know what to do, but for you, there's probably nothing in this page, or it's just saying, like, you have nothing here, and we'll get to that soon, but basically... What you need to do to download mods is you need the correct version of Forge. And if you don't get that, it's just another version of Minecraft that you use for the version. Like, you can go all the way back down to 1.1. So, yeah, that's what you'll need. I just wanted to show you guys, you will not be playing these mods on latest release. You'll be downloading an earlier version or the version that's released right now. And mind you, if you do download, if you do get a mod that's like for 1.2 or something you will not have all the stuff that's for 1.12.2, sorry. Um, so yeah, be mindful about that. I try to get the 1.12.2 mods. But yeah, anyways, that's all about that. I just wanted to show you guys what the home screen looks like, just in case your avatar is different. If you're on a Mac or something, I have no clue. Okay, so the first thing that you are actually going to want to do is download your mod itself, because that's what you want. So what you're actually going to need to do is... Um, there are a bunch of mod, There are a bunch of mod sites that you can actually um, get mods on. What I recommend is using minecraftmods.com um, or Minecraft Curse Forge or whatever it's called um, for Minecraft Curse Forge for Minecraft Mods. What I personally use the most is Curse Forge, but don't ever search up, I'm telling you guys this right now, don't ever search up just mods on the internet because 
you don't know what that publisher does. They could be putting a virus on your computer. So just do exactly what I do. For the sake of this tutorial, we are just going to be using Minecraft mods. So what you're going to do is you're going to type in minecraftmods.com and then you're just going to press search like a boss. And yeah, it's um gonna load now. And then once you get there, pretty much it's basically just like a mod site. And you're going to get to this screen here where there's already all different types of, mo types of mods that you can see. For the sake of this tutorial, we are going to be downloading the furniture mod because that mod is very popular. Um, but yeah, what you can do here, sorry for not telling you, um, I to pick a mod at this point, what I did was I just picked one of the popular ones. But if you actually want to le legit search up your own mod, then just go to the search page and then yeah, just type in the keywords. But it needs to be exactly exact, I'm pretty sure. Exactly exact. And so yeah, make sure it's exact or nothing will show up. So for the furniture mod, as you can see, there's a bit of a picture here. You can get couches, you can get like a lamp, you get a table, which is epic, cupboards, and yeah, pretty much like that. You can get a torch. Never mind, yeah, yeah you always had torches. Lol. Okay, so this is the crafting table, and what you're gonna want to do if you like this mod, first of all, check the voting to make sure this is how you know if it's like a virus mod, because there could still be I I've used this, I've been using this site for quite a while. I've not gotten any viruses on my computer, but I still always check to make sure the mod doesn't have like some sort of virus. So I check the rating, I check how many votes are on it, this has like, quite a few votes. And then what I do is I also check the comments to make sure that they're all nice comments, make sure it's not like, you put a virus on my computer, and um, yeah, then that's basically what you do. So what you are going to want to do now is you're going to want to click this orange download button. And what's it's, what it's going to do is it's going to take you basically to like the downloading page. So what you're going to do is you're going to ignore all this stuff. And as it just said, your download is going to start. So what you're going to do is you can press open. I personally like to press save. So pretty much my download, our download is now going to be downloading. So what we're going to do is we're just going to leave that because I have no clue how long that is going to take. So on to the next version, I mean, next um, thing. Let me just check that that's downloading. Um, oh, it's already done. Okay, perfect. So, yeah, now what we're going to do is we're going to be going on to the next part of this tutorial. So, obviously, um, I deleted my version of Forge that you will actually need. And also, another thing that I did forget to show you guys was you need to check what version of... Um, forge you need for this specific mod sorry about that so for this mod you need a 1.11.12 i mean point two why do i keep saying 1.11.2 version of forge and i just for the sake of this tutorial deleted that version of forge i already had so i can actually show you guys every step of the way and i will have all these links down below in the description so now oops i keep okay i thought i was on a different browser so now what you're going to want to do you can exit out of that and you're going to want to go to this site here so what you're going to do is you're just going to type in forge and just as simple as this but you got to be careful about something it may not show up now because it's sort of random but there uh, oh yep uh, it didn't show up this time but what you're going to want to do is click on minecraft forge here sometimes another result shows up above it for some reason but that's just like that's not the main site like they could be putting a virus on your pc and yeah just go on it won't be purple because if you're new to it but just type in and you know, go on to minecraft forge like that and then what you're going to do is you're going to get this resulted page here so this is how you pick the version of forge then you're going to come over here obviously ours was a 1.11.2 so that says 1.11 so you're going to click on it and you can get 1.11 which is just normal but we got a 1.11.2 you're going to click on that like so and what it's going to do is it gonna, it's going to change these and make them say 1.11.2 now we are on to downloading the version of forge so what I like to do is download the recommended version of Forge because the latest version has a chance of having bugs on it. See, it sort of shows a bug there, so an insect. So I personally like to download the recommended. It's totally up to you guys, but this is what I do if you guys want to copy me because my mods seem to be working pretty good. I think I said mobs, but that doesn't matter. So now what you're going to want to do if you are on a Windows computer, what you're going to want to do is click on Windows Installer. Now, I'm not completely sure about this, but I'm pretty sure if you are on a Mac, you click Installer. I'm not entirely sure you can try that. Don't judge me on that, but because I'm Windows, I'm a Windows fan. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on Install Windows Installer. I would highly recommend, though, that if you're going to get mods, get a Windows computer because it runs smoother, way smoother. Um, so, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to pick on Windows Installer and download Recommended. And what you're going to do here is nothing. You're not going to pick shrink you're not going to pick sign up or any of those things you're going to wait up here until that counts down for five you're going to click skip the ad because this is just trying to get your money and yeah you don't want that do you unless you actually want to go to this site so yeah um add focus then okay yeah yeah this is going to add focus now okay don't do that you're going to press skip it's just waiting for a response it takes a while to load this page for some reason yeah yeah are you gonna work and the logo, by the way is just absolutely epic i may have to even cut ahead at this part are you going to load it never takes this long load load are you serious man 
Okay, then, so that has finally loaded literally right after I press cut ahead. It just loaded. So now, what you're going to want to do, I like to personally save it. So right now, our version of Forge is downloading, but as you can see, it's downloading pretty quickly. Okay, that's pretty good then. The connection must be good, or it's just not that big of a version of Forge. Okay, then, so we have now got our version of Forge downloaded. Now, you're probably wondering, where did all that stuff go on my computer? Well, if you copied me, it should go to... Oops. My bad. So yeah, what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to go to your fo folder, find where they are. I like to keep my stuff in downloads. And as you can see, our 1.11.2 version of Forge is right here. So what I like to do is drag that onto the desktop just so I can see everything. I'm going to drag it over here just so it's a little more easy. And then the version of mod, this is, I'm pretty sure, the furniture mod because... Yeah, it said it was a 1.11.2. Yep, this is the mod we want. I hope it's not another mod. But yeah, I like to keep my mods in like a mods folder over there. APF Gamers Mods. So yeah, now what we're going to want to do, just because we can close out of that now, we're pretty much done using the internet now. So now what you're going to want to do is go into your Minecraft version. Wait, actually, nope, we're going to skip that. Now, um, my bad, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on Forge. Now, it depends. The reason I went into Minecraft was because it depends what happens this is a part where everyone sort of got confused about i got confused about this as well but and it seems to be working now but well i don't know if it's going to work i'm just assuming because when i got 1.11 it worked so what you're actually going to want to do if it works is you're going to want to click um make sure that's checked on checked off on install client what you want to do you're gonna it doesn't really matter if you uncheck this thing i i keep it checked just because i don't know i just like doing it exactly what it's hits me with or puts it there with so and then what you're going to want to do is click ok but just for the sake of this tutorial just in case it doesn't work what you're going to want to do is exit up if it works press ok obviously and what should happen is it should show in your minecraft launcher screen on that weird page that i showed you before but once i said just for the sake of this tutorial if that doesn't work what we're going to be doing is doing this so you go into this you pick on the launching screen and it should show up here but if for some reason it doesn't show up here which happened to us because we didn't do it what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to launch options do exactly what i'm doing press add new name this um forge yeah we'll just name it forge i assume and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to choose which version it is now this happens to me all the time it doesn't launch so i just give up on it i just pick the version so as you can see our version i'm pretty sure you can copy and paste it but i don't know if you can so i might waste time so our version is 1.11.2 13 and 20 and then remember that and then we'll do so um one point we got to find it. it could take a while 1.11.2 nope it's not the one we want i don't believe um, 1.11.2, let me just check this again. So yeah, it's 1.11.2, 13.20. And also another thing is that it may not have the version here because I think it works, but if it doesn't work, then you could just do this. So 1.11.2, oh, I'm pretty sure this is it. Um, yep, I'd assume so. If it's not, then we'll know when it works. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's it. So what you do is you click on the version, and then you don't change anything if you don't want to. And there we go. Our version of Forge is right here, 1.11.2. And now what you're going to want to do is you cannot um go play it yet, but what we're going to do is we're actually just going to, oops, uh, nope, we're on the wrong page. How do you get out of this? Uh, news, I'm pretty sure. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to pick your 1.11.2 version of Forge or whatever Forge you're using and click play because we are going to run Forge, make sure it's up and work and there's no viruses on it there shouldn't be but now it's gonna say preparing and um yeah and then there's only and then there's one more step you got to do i know it seems like a lot guys that's what i thought at the beginning but it's not really that a lot so if you get this screen you're making progress that means you got forge running and working and yeah it seems to be going doesn't seem to be crashing that's good that means it should work and then as you can see you now um have i sort of went ahead there as you can see you're at your regular loading screen but you have this mod mods option now so that means you can now get mods. If you click on it, um, our mod isn't here yet. It's just showing us that this is capable of having mods. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to quit the game. And now the last but not least thing that we actually need to do is we are going to go into the finder thing. We're going to go into this top search thing. It usually says quick access. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to say download. And you're going to want to type in percent app data uh, percent app data data percent. So make sure that you type this in exactly how I do it. Don't type it in like if you missed spell it it won't bring it up you're typing percent app data percent everyone got that okay good so and now it's going to bring you to this page here and you got like oops and you got like all your like stuff on your computer here or something like that and what you're actually going to want to do now is you're going to want to click on the minecraft thing which should be at the top if it's not doesn't matter and now as you can see you got your list of stuff from minecraft here 
And what you should have here is a mods folder. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on that mods folder. And as you can see, it has nothing. So because I took my mods I was using out of here just for the sake of the tutorial. And what you're going to want to do here is grab your version right here. I'm just checking. Yeah. And what you're going to want to do is pull your mod into this folder. So this means now it is actually going into Minecraft. So now what we're going to do is that's pretty much it. I usually trash forge just because it's already in minecraft you won't get rid of it i'm it never happens to me i'm not going to do that just in case um but yeah i've trashed all my other versions of forge because it's just programmed um into minecraft already so now what we're going to do is we're going to see if the mod's actually working i'll show you guys it's actually legit i'm hoping that this works we're going to load 1.11 just to review you click this pick on whichever one you want but just because we already picked it you know we yeah, we'll, we'll click it again 1.11.2 click it you're going to click play there's a train going by our house right now that doesn't matter Hello there, Mr. Lama. It's preparing. And now this is the point where you see if your mod is actually compatible for this version. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's just the creators that make it not compatible, which is sometimes annoying, but it's just sometimes things like that just happen. So now it's working. It seems to be going. And we're in. And now if you see, if we go over here, we have the furniture mod right here. So that's good. That means the mod is actually working. So if you made it to the air, if you can see furniture mod here, that means you're actually world. We're going to name it nothing. Yeah, that's just name. Let's name it nothing. We're going to go on to creative, and then we're just going to go, uh, yeah, it's pretty much good. Is there like a super flat? And now we're just going to press done. We're going to press create world, and now I'm going to show you that this actually works. So, yeah, then it's loading, loading, two hours later. Okay, I'm awake. Okay, so what you do now is i know it just looks like the random version of minecraft but now we should fingers crossed have the furniture mod now i've never used this mod before i literally just got it now so you should be able to see like all the furniture stuff i have it shouldn't oh there it is okay so yeah now you can see that there's actually furniture in your minecraft right now and there is a lot of stuff you can actually get a um a fire pit which is sick that's actually i, I sort of want to try this yeah just place it down that's pretty epic let's get a few chairs just to show you that it's actually furniture um we'll get um what should we get yeah yeah we'll get this chair we'll get like the jungle wood chair we'll get ourselves a toilet why not we'll get ourselves like a present or whatever this is yeah and, um the gentle present now we're gonna do we're gonna place down the chair we're gonna place down the toilet here which you definitely cannot get in minecraft and we're just gonna place down the present home oh, oh, oh that's actually really cool so yeah then guys um i just want to show you guys that this mod actually works so um we're just gonna quit out of this now now before i end off this video i have something that i do need to tell you well a little bit of things to tell you if this doesn't work um like make sure like don't get like all upset because sometimes it's different for other people it could also be a um thing that's going on with your computer but wait before you also leave i forgot to tell you guys this at the beginning of the video for mods to work on your computer you need to download java and what java is and i'm just going to show you guys this i forgot to show you it we're just going to press this and what you simply have to do is just type in java java.com and yeah it's just still here we already have this downloaded don't need this close of that so yeah what you need to do here is just type in java as soon as it loads i have no clue if it's loading we're just going to reload that and basically what you do is you download java and i already have it downloaded for the computer but if you do not have java downloaded then this will not work lots of people have been having this problem where youtubers forget to mention that you need java sometimes it comes pre-installed for your computer most of the times it doesn't but what you're going to want to do is click free um java download i'm not going to do it because the it's huge and i'm not going to download again because we already have it so um yeah that's the last thing you needed hopefully you got to this part before you tried it for yourself i know it's really exciting but yeah then and also one more thing is is that um like if you get like any viruses or something i cannot stress enough like if you're really excited don't go like onto random sites and type in for instance let's just say you can't find um the furniture mod let's say you couldn't find it on minecraft mods even though you can don't go just searching up random furniture mods because sure you may be able to download it but you could get, get a virus and don't come crying to me because i warned you guys so yeah i told you the sites i use is minecraftmods.com and minecraft first forge um curse forge for um mods so or just curse forge in general so yeah then guys that's just about to wrap up this video for today i just like to say a big thank you to all you guys for watching this video i hope that this guy is um that this helped you this took a very long time to make so i would have very much appreciated if you guys gave this video a big thumbs up and also if any of you guys up there are new to my channel make sure you stick around and subscribe because you will be put on the wolf team and you'll also see gaming content here so make sure you go check out my channel before you leave if you're new so until then guys thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys